in the given equation c is a positive constant which of the following is one of the solutions to the given equation so we have this equation here and we need to find the value of x so what x equals to so we need to isolate for x and we can do that by moving all the x terms to one side so we'll move this term here to the other side with the other x's by subtracting this from both sides so on the left we'll have x squared over square root x squared minus c squared minus c squared over square root x squared minus c squared so we just move this to the other side by subtracting it from both sides so when we subtract this from the left we'll just have this but negative and on the right this term minus itself will just cancel out so we'll only have a 39 left on the right side now since these two have the same denominator we can add these fractions together and the second fraction is negative so we'll just subtract c squared from x squared so we'll be left with x squared minus c squared all over the square root of x squared minus c squared and this will all still equal 39 okay now let's get rid of this square root in the denominator and we can do that by squaring both sides so we'll square this and we'll square this since we're squaring both sides this equation still remains true okay so x squared minus c squared whole squared this is the same as just writing x squared minus c squared times x minus c squared since that's what uh, an exponent of 2 does you just multiply the term by itself and that will be divided by just x squared minus c squared since squaring a square root cancels it out so we'll just be left with what's inside okay so that gets rid of the square root since a square root squared cancels out and then this will all still be equal to 39 squared okay now we can see that the denominator is x squared minus c squared and one of these both of these terms are x squared minus c squared so we can cancel out one of the x squared minus c squared on the top with the denominator so x squared minus c squared over x squared minus c squared is just one so and then anything multiplied by one doesn't change it so we'll just still have x squared minus c squared equals 39 squared so because the denominator was equal to one of the terms in the numerator we can just cancel it out so now that we have x squared minus c squared equals 39 squared let's isolate x by moving the c squared to the other side so we'll add a c squared to both sides this will cancel out the c squared here so we'll have an x squared on the left and then we'll have a negative uh, positive c squared on the right so c squared plus 39 squared and then let's take the square root of both sides to get rid of this square since the square root of a square is just the term that's inside so we'll have x equals c squared plus 39 squared square rooted okay and since this is a square root this number here is actually a positive or a negative both are solutions so positive square root c squared plus 39 squared is a solution and negative square root c squared plus 39 squared is a solution that's why the problem statement here said give one of the solutions to the given equation since there are two equations two solutions one is positive one is negative okay and of all the answer choices the only one that shows one of the solutions is answer choice D because this right here shows the negative solution and we still have the square root C squared plus 39 squared but it shows us the negative solution of the square root so D is the answer